I researched that council, that shit really happened. Mm -hmm. And they really must have had somebody that spoke up and said, yo, yes, that spoke up and said it was 12, maybe a few, but I don't know how many people was there really. I just know they used to have meetings. Mm -hmm. There's been all kinds of those kinds of meetings, right? Mm -hmm. There's stories about those meetings. There's movies about those meetings. Mm -hmm. There's a movie, <sighs> maybe I'll leave it in the comments of this video when we put it up, mm -hmm. right? Sacred Drift, maybe. It's a movie maybe based on that. Maybe something on, I'll put in the comments, right? Okay. Anyway, these meetings was real and somebody really may have spoken up and said, yo, this cycle, this change we talking about, the world of righteousness that we striving to bring about, the, 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 the new free world where the earth survived, because you see right now, if we keep going this way, this ain't a survival course, homie. The earth is gonna just be destroyed. Literally, we radiating the earth. We. If they do what they about to do with microwave transmissions and, and, and they start using up a certain bandwidth in the air, your blood cells about to fry up. There's certain things that they about to start doing technology-wise where literally your, your melanin about to start frying. And it's designed for that. Like they actually pick this certain part of the, 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 the atmosphere where, it's, where oxygen is formed. The oxygen we breathe and that our cells respirate and that trees and every other living thing relies on is gonna now be dealing with grafted oxygen. So they can do what? Sell you air. Just like they selling you water. You know what I mean? Like, so like, we headed to that time, so if we not prepared, if we not a people of traditions, if we not a people of strong values, we ain't gonna get nowhere. So that's why we right now at the point where the 85% is fine, like, yo, who gonna teach us? And I'm like, it ain't gonna just be me. It's gonna be this dude, this dude, this, this brother, like everybody that walking in and out this building, they got the same knowledge I got. Ain't nobody, I'm not greater than nobody because I'm on a camera sometimes or because I've written books. Because remember, I wrote books quoting brothers that's not in books. You know, like I made sure to quote the people that wasn't being quoted because brothers like him wasn't gonna be in a history book because we're the ones that get written out of history. They tried to write the 5% out of history. The elders among us, these brothers on this wall, these was. Not civil rights pioneers, these was human rights pioneers. In the 60s, they stopped riots in the 60s. They taught freedom, justice, and equality and human rights in the 60s. And then when all the other movements got squashed in the late 60s and 70s, look at these pictures, they kept teaching in the fucking 70s. Who else did that? Name another civil rights leader that was teaching in the 70s, 80s. Name another organization that continue to still give the people life 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. No matter what we went through, God, we was on fucking heroin, crack, and now our babies is on fucking prescription drugs. And I'm talking about our physical babies. Percocets and... and Percocets. I'm talking about our physical babies and we gotta see how to get them off the dope that Allah taught us not to be on. Right. right. So that's why, we gotta, that's why we gotta bring this knowledge back and that's why I wanted to come back home. You know what I mean? Right here. If Mega did this.